Okay, everybody. Today we're gonna to be switching out this old drain. Every time we go wash dishes, this little stopper would move or whatever. Water would leak out, just wasting water over and over again. So we're gonna go ahead and change it out. I got this new strainer from uh, Kohler. So we're gonna put it in. All right, we'll need that. I need some channel locks. Definitely gonna need some uh, plumber's putty. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, come down underneath and we're gonna go ahead, loosen this nut. We'll loosen this nut and then we'll loosen this nut. So as you'll see, you can barely see this bottom one, but it just takes a little turn. That's all you need. And it's, it's gonna come loose. Okay, so what I tried to do first, I made some progress, but I was, my pliers were too big to get in here and get this. So I basically hit this with the hammer and you wanna rotate this counterclockwise. Uh, that's on there pretty tight. So I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit of PB blaster. Okay, here's the tip when doing this. Go ahead and buckle this back up. Go ahead and tighten this back up. Then when you come over here, you'll get here with the screwdriver and you'll get it on this edge, right? Then you'll hit the head of the screwdriver uh, and then that'll loosen it up. You need this tightened up so you could get this thing to spin. Once you get this thing to spin, you're home free. You'll get this off. See? Starts to spin, but I did put that uh, PB blaster. Once you get that off, then you can loosen this back up. Uh, you can go up top and loosen it. So you'll hold this and then loosen this. So go ahead and loosen this back up. This will pop up now. So this was due for a change. Push it up. Take this off. Take this off. And we'll get this all cleaned up for the next one. Take off this old one. And we'll come in here. Careful. Careful of this edge. It's very sharp. So you want to be careful when you clean this. Don't just don't rub your hand across here. You'll cut your hand open. It's it's kind of sharp. And you don't have to do too much to it. You just want to make sure it's clean. God, I cringe when I think about cleaning edges like this. So it's very thin edge. Do not cut yourself. Just kind of do not stick your hand in there and go like that. You're going to cut your finger. So when we clean underneath, again, don't stick your hand in here. It's very sharp. So just kind of flick it. Just flick it. Don't stick your hand in there and try to clean it from the inside. It's a very sharp edge. Okay, again, so you're gonna need your plumber's putty and you're gonna need your, your strainer. Okay, it's your drain, all right? Um, so let's dive into this thing. So it comes with a few screws. You'll need those to tighten them down at the end. Okay, so go ahead and take this off for now. And this is going to come with uh, your strainer. So this is, you have to spin it all. Okay, it's going to go up underneath like that. Okay, and your ring. This is all going to go like this. This is going to go down in the sink. Like so underneath will come in with this plastic 
Uh, you want to have that on there. Don't forget to put that on there. And then you'll put this ring. Okay, and that will slide. I want that to slide. So underneath you're gonna put the you're gonna put this in here. Underneath you're gonna put this plastic ring. You're gonna put the metal ring. And then you're gonna slide this one on. This one's gonna have the, the thread. So it's gonna thread on. Once you thread it on underneath and get it tight. Then you'll use these screws to tighten down in here, to tighten down in here to give it a good press. So let's do it. And get some dough out. Now we'll go ahead and take our drain. Got plenty of any putty on there we're gonna go ahead and line this up pull her up I'm gonna push 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 that down in there like that just keep pushing it's gonna flatten out pieces on one thing we're gonna do is I loosened up this part and I'm gonna take this off for now all right so this is the top this one on top is another seal so what we're gonna do take that top off for a second I want to get this off I want to put the new one on with this new washer all right, so we'll have a good tight seal. Okay, here's the new one. What we're gonna do is take the old one off. We gotta take this part off. This ring's gotta come off. Comes off the bottom. Okay, this can slide off. We'll put it right back on. We're gonna take this whole ring off. Okay, it's worn out. Now, we'll put this new one back on. Remember, you gotta have it this way because it's gonna tighten up. Put that on first. Okay. We'll slide that up here in a minute. So you'll slide that up, that'll go into the groove. All right, then slide this on. This is the top. This has got to go on like this. So you slide that on, and this ring will go in there. Now, now what we do is slide this piece back on. So this one's going to go up like this, and then this piece needs to go back on, facing this way. See the bevel? Just like that. That's going to be snug fit. It's going to come down on there like that. Okay, now you got the new one on. And you'll pull this up. We'll put this little cap back on. All right. So now, when you go to tighten it, you actually might not need that now. Because if you actually put it on there now, it won't, it won't tighten up on you. So, I think that's why people took it off, to be honest, because it doesn't look like it's going to catch much. But, yeah, you know what? Let's try without this. So, let's take this off, because that's not going to catch much. Take this off. Slide this off. Okay. Slide this back off. This has this. Take that off. Now, 
slide that on there. Slide this ring on here. And I'm sure that that takes the place. This takes the place of that other ring. So when you have that, go back on here. You have to put this on. And again, we'll put this on like so. So now, now this is what we got. So this is gonna go on top. Now when this comes up, it has plenty of room to seal. So this, this takes a place as this. So you have this from the outer part. When it comes up, it seals. It's like that. And this is gonna go back down in there and seal on the bottom. So this is gonna go back in here. Like so. First part is this. It's gotta go up underneath. Actually, that's not the first part. Yeah, it is. So the first part, this is gonna go underneath. Like so. Second part, is this ring's gonna go up underneath. Third is this ring. Just like so. And what you can do is you can go ahead and put your screws in. Um, let's go ahead and put your screws in because you can use them as like a handle. You don't want to screw them all the way in because then they'll catch. You will eventually screw them all the way in. You can use them to tighten. Keep in mind, you got to be careful with them because they can't spin out. You don't have them in there all the way. And you tighten, 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 tighten. And you'll have to go up top to... Uh, if you want the label, Kohler, whatever, if you want it straight, you gotta go up there and tighten it before you tighten it all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it up. So, I'll just try to keep an eye out and make sure it's straight. So you can have someone hold it up top. If you're concerned about the, the name brand being straight, just try to tighten it a little more. There we go. We'll tighten this down. After we tighten this down. Ours is just a little off, but no big deal. Get all this out of the way. The rest will go away. The rest will kind of work itself out. So we don't need this anymore, this little stopper. Uh, no leaks. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.